let f of x comma y comma z be a scalar field or function, and big f of x comma y comma z be a 3D vector field. For each expression, decide first if it is meaningful, and if so, whether the result is a scalar field or vector field. For a quick review, we find the gradient of a function of f, and the result is no longer a function or scalar field, but a vector field. We determine the divergence of a vector field, and the result is no longer a vector field, but a scalar field. And finally, we determine the curl of a vector field, and as long as the vector field is three-dimensional, the curl of a vector field is another vector field. So looking at number one, we begin with the gradient of the function f, which results in a vector field, and then we find the divergence of that vector field, which results in a scalar field or function. Number one is meaningful, the result is a scalar field or function. Number two, we begin with the divergence of the function f. We don't determine the divergence of a function f. We determine the divergence of a vector field f. Number two is not meaningful. Number three, the gradient of f is a vector field, but the divergence of the vector field f is a scalar field or function, and we cannot determine the cross product of a vector field and a scalar field. Number three is not meaningful. Number four, we begin with the divergence of the vector field f, which results in a scalar field or function, and then we want to find the divergence of that scalar field, which we cannot do. We only find the divergence of a vector field. Number four is not meaningful. And finally, for number five, we begin with the divergence of the vector field f, which results in a scalar field or function, and then we determine the gradient of that scalar field or function, which results in a vector field. Number five is meaningful and results in a vector field. I hope you found this helpful.